Okay, this is the podcast for the physical science test. Remember, we have special schedule that week. So we have December 19th. Those are going to be your even periods. And the 20th are going to be your odd. So make sure you understand 2, 4, 6, and 8 on the 19th. 1, 3, 5, and seven on the 20th. And those are the only periods you'll go to those days. They'll have longer classes. Okay, going to start out here. And take note, we're going to start with chapter three. So we'll start with three and then go to four and five. So we start out with pure compound in a substance. A substance is a single kind of matter that is pure, always has a specific makeup. So our example is going to be the salt. Compound is a substance made of two or more elements that are chemically combined. And here, we're going to go with our water. Types of mixtures and what their differences are. If you remember, we went through quite a few of these. Heterogeneous, we can see the different parts. And would this be pizza or salt water? Okay, going to be the pizza. Homogeneous, you cannot see the different parts. Of course, that's going to be the salt because the salt dissolves in You cannot see it, even though it is a mixture. And, of course, we can separate those. So how do we separate mixtures? Okay, so as we take a look here at these examples, we're going to start here to the left. And this is going to be magnetic attraction. Underneath we did in class, and this is going to be evaporation. We'll jump up top to the right, and we take and go through a filter. This is going to be filtration. And from our last example here is going to be distillation. So these are four examples of how we can separate a mixture. Okay, chapter three here, how to determine the volume of an irregular object. I'm going to use a graduated cylinder. Directions are right here in the box. We're going to fill it. It says two-thirds. A lot of times we would fill it up to 50 if we have a a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder and then it's pretty simple to see the difference so if we start at 50 milliliters and it moves to 55 milliliters then we are going to end up with 5 for our difference and if it is a solid then we have to change that to centimeters cubed so don't forget that when you're trying to find your answer Still in chapter 3 here, I'm going to identify an unknown object based on its density. And we have worked pretty extensively here with mass divided by volume. That is one formula that you will be expected to memorize on this test. Identify and know the difference between chemical and physical changes and properties. So we start with physical property. That's going to be observed without changing it into a new substance. A chemical property will describe its ability to change to another substance or substances. Sometimes, of course, we have multiple things produced. Physical change is a product still going to have the same substance after the change. Break a board, cut a piece of paper, etc. And you've got a chemical change. That's a change that's going to produce one or new substances. Endothermic, exothermic. In endothermic, the heat goes in. Emphasize the in and the en at the beginning. And for exothermic, it's going to exit and exo. So I think those are two simple ways to take a look. Examples, which one of these is endothermic and which one is exothermic? Endo goes with the ice, and exo goes with the fire. Okay, now we're switching to chapter four how the molecules, particles behave in each state of matter. I think this is important to understand and be able to recognize. This is something we struggled on on the quiz. A solid can only vibrate in place. Liquid can slide around one another but still touch. It's going to have a definite volume but not definite shape. 
and gas particles spread apart to fill an entire container, and they never have a definite shape or a definite volume. And I think one thing to understand on the difference between these, typically when you see a solid, it's going to show bonds between them. A lot of times you're going to see lines. They're going to be packed into a container. Liquid can still have as many showing, but they're going to have a little bit more space between them, and then gas are going to spread out. And those may only show a couple, may only show a couple in the picture, but it's still gas because of the way they're spread out. Difference in properties between the three states of matter. We've got liquid properties, surface tension. So you can see this bug here shows surface tension. And then we have taken a look at this picture over here before with viscosity and see the difference in how these five samples flow.